Mobile technology is changing really quickly. Here in the U.S. and in much of the developed world, it's all about smartphones and tablets and, and high-end devices. In the developing world, they are lagging behind by about five years, but the expectation is that they're going to actually adopt at a much faster rate than we did here. Uh, reason being, they just they don't have the communication infrastructure there, and so the opportunity to actually now have access to information and to be able to communicate uh, is just so exciting. So the adoption rate is really expected to explode over the next few years. And we're already seeing it with smartphones and feature phones uh, being very widely used in many, many areas of the developing world. So with the growth of feature phones and smartphones around the world, more people than ever have access to information that they just didn't have before. So you can imagine a woman in a remote village who can now receive updates saying you need to bring your child in for a vaccination or here's information about your different contraceptive options. It's also changing how health providers offer health care. So it allows them to be a lot more flexible, it allows them to go out into the field, and it also gives them the opportunity to bring real experts into situations so you can get a much higher level of service. So it's changing uh, not just kind of the information that people are getting, it's also changing how health care is provided and it's changing how it is consumed. So what's really exciting are some of the new solutions that are emerging. And you're seeing everything from devices that connect up with your smartphone to just sort of radical new ideas. And one of the, the trends that we've seen, of course, is big data. And big data is the idea that you are now getting data from millions of different data points and that you can come up with some sort of trend and analysis and insights that might be helpful. But when it comes to healthcare, it's really all about smart data. And smart data is about taking a concrete data set and really doing an in-depth analysis. And this allows you to provide people with tools that they can really use and that are relevant to them. The intersection between science and technology is creating breakthroughs every single day. It's really changing the global health landscape. And while it's almost impossible to predict the future because of all of this constant change, what we do know is that mobile technology is going to change global health by improving information, uh, improving people's access to that information, and providing people with new tools and new solutions that they just didn't have before and frankly weren't even possible just years ago. I talked a lot about breakthroughs, and I think most people working in global health and technologists would agree. Breakthroughs that are sort of the brilliant insight are rare. It's much more about building off of each other's ideas, improving upon them, and they allow you incremental change and incremental improvement till eventually you have something that really has an impact and has the potential to help people live healthier lives.